Hi everybody and welcome to today's tutorial. Um, today what we're going to be going through is Lee Chatelier's Principle. Now I'm really excited about this because I love Lee Chatelier's Principle. Um, it's, it's quite fun actually. Once you get the, the hang of it, it's very, very easy and they're like giveaway marks, okay? So I'm sure you can do very well in this section. Alright, so basically let's have a look at what Lee Chatelier's Principle is saying, okay? Now, let's consider a system at equilibrium. So if we have A plus B gives us C plus D, okay, that system, let's just say that it's at equilibrium at the very moment, right now, this system is at equilibrium, okay. So, um, when you start changing um, the system, okay, and placing it out of equilibrium, that is exactly when Lee Chatelier's principle is very important. Because what it tells you is how the reaction is going to respond. So if you make a change to the reaction and say you like um, put more of, decide to place more A in, then you're going to start, um, these reaction rates are no longer going to be equal. And so the system is going to do something um, and we analyze it using Lee Chatelier's generally. So what Lee Chatelier's is, is it's kind of like Newton's third law in physics. That um, the concept of that every reaction, every action has an opposite and equal reaction, it's pretty much the same thing. So if we change something within the system, okay, Lee Chatelier's is like a buffer. It wants to it wants to bring it back to the normal kind of state it was at equilibrium. So let's have a look at basically what happens. I'll give you an illustration of this. Say in this equation we decide to increase the amount of concentration of A that we have, okay? And what that is going to do is since we've increased this amount, okay, so we've made it go up, um, you can't say anymore that the reaction rates are equal because obviously just by our rates of reaction, you have more of this and this, okay? You've actually put in more, put in more of that, okay? So you have more frequent collisions here and you have the same collisions there as you did before at equilibrium and so now there becomes an imbalance in the forward and back reaction because you've added this it's going to go forward and you can think of it by um, Lee Chatelier's principle which says that if you increase something okay you want to do the opposite you want to decrease it and the only way to decrease A is, it, is when you react it with B in order for it to um, turn into C and D. That's the only way to decrease B, it's decrease A. Okay, so by increasing A, um, Lee Shirley's principle says we have to go in a direction that will reduce A, and that is going forward. All right, let's have a look at another case. Let's, um, let's just say that we, so we, we know how to do that one. Let's say that B decreased. So maybe you've taken out B, maybe you've reacted it with something, I'm not sure. But B goes down. So let's have a look at what happens to this, this reaction. If, if this has gone down, then Lee Chatelier's principle says that it has to go back up. And out of these two choices that you have here, obviously you're going to be going in the opposite way, this way, because you want to bring that B back up to its original level. Even though you theoretically can't, um, that's basically the best way of increasing B at least a little bit up. Okay, so you're going to go backward. This is called the backward reaction. Backwards. Okay, so um, yeah, that's basically what happens when you add a reactant or take away out, take a reactant out. Remember that you can also make changes here. So, for example, if you decided to continuously take out C, because maybe C is something that you're producing and selling. Um, if you decide to take out C, um, and C drops, if that drops, if that C value drops, then you're going to be going forward. A and B are going to be reacting in order to produce more of C. So, um, you can like look at different reactions and play around with them and um, yeah, that's all I wanted to speak about in today's tutorial. Um, next tutorial, we'll be speaking about the difference, um, basically affecting pressure or volume of different Lee Chatelier's um, equilibrium equations. Okay, so um, I hope that helped and 
have a look at the next few parts for Lee Chevaliers. Okay?